Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to turn in and do the homework assignments uh, for our class. So, I'll share my tab. Awesome. So, I'm in the assignments for one of my band classes. And so we're going to go all the way down here and let's say we're going to do our staff note identification homework. So, what you need to know about your homework. Okay, I'm going to ask that you score an 88% or better before you submit this assignment. This assignment has only one allowed submission. Uh, this means that if you do submit it before you have an 88% or better, um, it will, uh, it, I'll, you'll, I'll, you'll have to email me for me to unlock it for you so you can submit it again. Um, so what you'll want to do, is you'll want to click on this link. So to submit, uh, this has changed, and I'll, I, I'll go back and change this in the future, but I want to say this on video. Uh, you can, when you're, when you're done, you'll be prompted to view a progress report. You'll click on it and then select sign report. Uh, then you'll be presented with two options. You can either copy a link or copy a code. I thought that copying the code before was easiest. Um, it's a little bit more secure, but copying the link, as long as you double check and make sure that the link works, the link is actually the easiest for me to grade. Um, but either or both would be fine. Uh, one of either way, as long as it links back to you, I should be able to be I should be able to work with whatever you give me. Um, out of after you click sign report. So let's look at it real quick. So I'm gonna run through it real quick. Um, so this is out of 25 questions. To score an 88% or better, you will need to score, I believe it is 22 out of 25 correctly. Maybe it's 21, I can't quite remember. So quickly enough, you can walk through these, and they don't take too, too long to go through. Um, all I'm asking you to do is just recognize the lines and spaces for the different clefs, and then to be able to tell me uh, what the flat is. flats, or in this case, sharp. Now, you can't just follow what I'm doing here as far as a, um, as far as a quiz grade go, or a uh, the, what the questions are going to be, because they randomize each. Uh, after each turn. So, I'm going to try to just run through this really quickly. And so, again, other quizzes will ask you to do other things, such as recognizing these notes on a keyboard. Uh, can you recognize the sharps and flats and say how, like, recognizing the F sharp and G flat are the same uh, on the keyboard, how they sound the same, even though they can get called different things, um either way either way uh, let me get through this real quick and then i'll see what that looks like don't know why i chose that one I'm just trying to rush through so you'll see what it looks like then when someone gets to i think i have so far wrong All right, so you'll click View Report. So we got 92%. You can turn that in. Click View Report, and then I'll ask you to type in your name. So for me, I would type in my name, first and last, of course. I click Sign Report. Now, I can either copy this link or I'll copy the code. I'll show you what I do. When I do copy code, okay, what that's going to take me to is uh, a code checker. I would use a code checker for musictheory.net. And so I will paste in that code, verify. Oh, and it brings up uh, 
says that I did I did the note identification. I got 23 out of 25, and it tells me how long I did it. The rest of this information is just the modifications I made to the quiz to make it work. Um, so that's it. So that's what happens if you submit a code. However, if you just did copy the link, okay, and you submit that, then I can paste and go, and it will take me straight to the report. It'll open up the code checker for me automatically. So the link is easiest for me to grade, but I can do either or. Um, so please use the link. Um, if you feel like that might not work, then you also use the code. But make sure you're putting in your name, and so that way I can get the right person the points that I deserve. And guys, that's all that we have to worry about for those homework assignments. Um, other homework assignments um, so far have just been participation based, engaged student engagement. Um, which we talked about in class. And if you have any question about what that is or how to improve it, all you need to do is just let me know that we can get that grade up and we'll address any issues you guys have. So thank you. If you have any questions, reach out to me about anything. Reach out to me about anything about this class. Um, and take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in class.